All right, happy Friday, everyone. So excited to be here. Hopefully you are joining us. If you are, make sure to jump on, say hi in the comments so that we can pull those up and make sure that everything's up and going. I have Mindy with me. Go ahead and say hi, say hi Mindy. Hey, everybody. It's Friday. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I'm so excited. And it, it feels even happier seeing that bright, happy paper that you're going to be playing with and the free principal. Anyways, I won't give it all away, but it looks so cute. I'm so excited to see what you create with it. Yeah, it, I wish I was in a place like this, but right now yeah. <laughs> I could be soaking up some sun. That would be good. Yeah, but it is Friday. It is almost summer technically, and so there's a lot to be excited for. And of course, um, a lot of fun things, creating memories, creating ways to remember those memories, all the above. So love it. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the time over to Mindy, and she will take it from here. All right, thanks. All right, so hey, Trisha and Lisa and Nikki and another Lisa. <laughs> We've got a few people here, so that's good. Um, yeah, I am so glad it's Friday. I wish I was in a sunny, warm place. It's raining outside today, so it's not really beach worthy, but it is good that the weekend is here. It's been a long week. so. Um, hey, Jen <laughs> and Natalie. All right, so today is Free Friday. Free Friday means free printable. Um, it looks like the link is already up there. We had it um, prepped for you ahead of time so that you guys would all have a place to find it, easy go to, to print it off if you want to play along. Um, so let's just jump in. So I designed this um, free printable to work with the May Kiwi Club designer templates. This kit is so fun. I hope you guys are loving it. Um, oh, Nikki, yeah, you got rain too. Yeah, rain, rain, go away. Um, this kit, I love these templates. Like this sun is so fun and big and bright and happy. Um, I love the wonky shape of it. Uh, it's a really fun piece. And then the sunglasses. Okay, guys, the sunglasses are really, I have been wanting these for years, <laughs> these sunglasses. And this time, this May kit, they finally got in there. And then you can't go wrong with the flip-flops, of course, right? Um, with all the little cutouts that really make them look uh, like a flip-flop. So these are a really fun set. Hopefully you guys have been playing with them a little bit. You guys created anything with them yet? Let me know if you have. Good, Wendy. I'm glad you love it. I love it too. I just need to make some more time to play with it. But to do this principle, I did play with it a little bit. So um, I'll show you, I guess, my layout I did with it. I just did a one pager. And so this is kind of funny, actually, as we're talking about weather and the day and the sun um, not really being sunny outside. So this is my husband and my daughter. And a couple days prior to this, they had they challenged each other to go out in the um, snow. This was in winter, and they had to stand in the snow barefoot while eating a snow cone in their swimsuits. And so they they did it, and I videoed it, and it was the, they did it, but they were like jumping up and down. My daughter's feet were hurting because she was standing in snow. Anyway, and then a couple days later. They went out there and pretended they were sunbathing. And you see, hopefully you guys can see all the snow on the ground, that's snow. Um, and so they were just being silly out there. So I decided to capture that memory. I just had this one picture and I thought it would be really cute with this big sunshine behind it. Um, and of course I wanted to use this, the sunglasses and the flip flops. So I got it all on this one, one page layout. Um, so I designed the printable to go along with it. So this is the printable and these, these right here, it says relax, unwind, get in a flip-flop state of mind. So I fit those into the bottom of the flip-flops, just like that. If you'll lay it over, you can kind of line up. That's what's great about our, the see-through material. Like it really allows you to line up those flip-flops 
and line up your wording to make sure nothing's cut off. And those just fit right in there like that. Okay. Um, so that is what those titles are for right there. Then I played around with the sunglasses and I hope you noticed if you got the full paper crafting kit, you'll notice that in there we had some title cards that fit different scenes inside the sunglasses. And for those of you that just got the template kit, I wanted to let to give you that same opportunity. So that's what these printables are great for is if you just get the template only kit, definitely print off the printables. Um, they'll usually go with, you know, these colors are pretty, you know, basic summer colors. So you, if you use your own paper, your own paper stash, most likely these colors will coordinate with most summer type lines. So anyway, so I, I made that kind of a sky scene with the sunshine and the clouds to make, you know, you can just do clouds if you want, or you can get the sunshine in there in the corner. Um, and that's what I did on this layout. I just um, cut out, you know, a, a circle shape and I just adhered it onto the back of those sunglasses. But to even um, take the sunglasses a step further, um, I fit a title into the sunglass frame. So that's what you'll see in this blue box right down here. Again, you can line up your words so nothing gets cut off. Um, fit it right there in the nose piece of the sunglasses and then trace around it, cut it out. And you can trace the inside of your, of your lenses and cut those out so that your sky can show through. Really fun. Um, I think that's also in the um, one of the title cards in the kit too. Uh, there's a title that fits along there. Um, so we want to make sure our template club members are taken care of as well. Okay, so then one of our highlighted sets or one of our highlighted pieces in for this month was the shine a la carte. Um, oh, thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Um, Laura, are there any extra printables for all, are there extra printables for all Kiwi kits? Laura, for, since we've been doing Free Friday for a little while now, so, um, the, not all of them, not all of the kits have a free printable with them, but the last quite a few do. So if you go into the blog and search printables, you're probably going to find, um, at least, at least all of 2021 so far has printables. I can't remember when we, how far back we went on the free printables. So just go in the blog, take a look. You'll probably find them. Um, also, I think you can look in the files on the Play to Create group and you'll probably find them there as well. So, um, all right. So the Shine a la carte was featured in this month. So I created um, some titles that can fit in the center of this. So if you get out your um, rings, number one will work with this. Um, here, let me grab it real quick. Okay. So if you grab rings, number one, you can line that up, trace out a circle on both of these. So this one has kind of a beach scene. Summers are, summer dreams are made of this and soak up the sun. Both of those will fit in the rings number one. And then you can lay it on top of your shine a la carte if you want a title in your smaller sunshine. I think this would be really cute. I didn't I mean, I didn't do it on my layout, but if you layered the big sun, say you didn't do the sunglasses there and you layered the small sun on top of the big sun, I think it would be really fun as well. So if you wanna give that a try, definitely share with us if you do. All right, and then the other featured set in this for this month was um, Tiny Highlights. Tiny Highlights is a great um, set for just little, little touches of fun, right? <laughs> like all these little shapes are fun little accent pieces. Um, there's a lot of shapes great for journaling or titles. And that's what I did with these pieces. So let me see. So I did tiny highlights 8T, 
which is kind of another little sunshine burst shape. And this one down here says good times tan lines. Um, so that fits in there, the highlights 8T, tiny highlights 8T, okay? Or I mean, you could also just put it in a circle as well, you know, depending on your design. And then I use tiny highlight 6T, which is just the little speech bubble here. And this beach bum fits in there. So if you had a picture of, you know, kids playing on the beach or, you know, adults relaxing on the beach, you could put this in that little speech bubble and kind of point it at um, those people. So if these guys were really on the beach, or I guess I could have done it since they're imagining themselves on the beach, right? I could have put beach bum in that little speech bubble and it would have been really cute. Okay, so then I also have these other three little little titles down here, Just Another Day in Paradise and Sweet Summertime and Sending You Sunshine. And those are just in a little box and you'll see um, that, let's see. I use the inside of rings, number one, just that little circle. And I made these kind of as flower centers, right? So a little circle is always great for a flower center. So I'm gonna, we're actually gonna make a card today. If you wanna stick around with me, we're gonna use this printable and we're gonna make a card real quick. So you can see how these um, little circles can be really cute in the center of a flower. And the flower that I'm gonna use is highlights again, tiny highlights 5T. Okay, so I'm gonna take my card base and I found some old paper. This was a old 2018 Kiwi Club kit, but it's kind of warped and had a little damage. So I am gonna pull it out and use it for some card scraps. So I pulled out this breezy tiny border and breezy 1B and breezy 3A is what I'm using. And then I thought it would be cute to put on the flip-flops. I'm really a fan of the flip-flops guys because they're, they're big enough that like they really make a fun statement, but they're small enough too to, you know, they fit on a card really cute and you can kind of turn them. I always kind of turn them and layer them a little bit. That's just personal preference, but I love the cutouts. You really dress them up and add the straps. And I've seen so many people use ribbon, which is so cute as well. So, um, all right, just wanna make sure there's no questions. Okay, and then I was gonna add this little flower there and that's where we're gonna put our um, flower center. So I think I'm going to use this, you guys remember this paper, Aloha? This was one of the very first Kiwi Clubs. I'm gonna cut my tiny border out of this real quick. So do you guys have big summer plans? Anyone have trips planned to warmer weather? Or maybe if you're already in warmer weather, you got trips planned to cooler weather? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know your plans for the summer. We still need to make our plans. We talked about going somewhere, but talked about going to California, but they're kind of still shut down a little bit. So we don't know if it's really worth it. And um, so anyway, give me some ideas. Where are you going this summer? What are you going to be doing? I would love to know. All right. So there's our border. Legoland, Helen's going to Legoland. That is one place I have not been. Well, I haven't been to any amusement parks in Florida, I guess. <laughs> I've been to Disneyland in California, SeaWorld. I've been most places in California, right? All the big amusement parks, but I have not been to any in Florida. So maybe should do that someday, I guess. All right, now we're gonna do a little wave along there as well. I'm just trying to decide which color, maybe orange. This paper is all bent up. I think it had water damage or something. So I gotta kinda, I wouldn't normally place templates like this, but I'm trying to avoid the damage. 
See, you can, you can get a card out of even damaged paper, any little scraps you have. You can make it work, so. And normally, yes, I wouldn't cut that border out of the middle of the paper like that. All right, Michigan, Trisha, come visit Michigan. It is beautiful in the summer. Yeah, I think Michigan, I don't know, because I've never been there, but I feel like summer was the only time to go to Michigan. <laughs> I don't know, maybe spring and fall. I don't know, how cold is your fall? But I know your winters are no fun. So I definitely don't want to visit Michigan in the winter. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of places in the United States. I have not been to many places, guys. I tell my friends this all the time, <laughs> that I wanna go, I wanna move and go leave this area that I've lived in my entire life. But someday I have traveled a little bit, but not too many places in the United States. So maybe I should come to Michigan. No, I've actually thought, so I've seen all your guys' different like crops and events you guys have been going to um, lately, or at least planning. And I'm like, hmm, I've never been to a crop either. Maybe I should. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm struggling with this border. Um, maybe I should just show up at one sometime. It'd be kind of fun and experience it. Uh, working and maybe camping. <laughs> Trisha, good. Yes, stay away in the winter. Yes, that is what I figured. It is from what I've seen on the news and different things. Yeah, Michigan is not where you want to be in the winter. But you must love it because you live there. So Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Hmm, that sounds fun too. You know where I really want to go is Maine. Is there anyone here on here from Maine? I don't know why I want to go to Maine so bad. I've seen pictures though, and it just looks really pretty. But then again, I, but you know, like most places, I think there's a certain time to go to Maine and that doesn't always work out. Oh, I forgot that this is a six inch border. So I'm going to have to trim that off a little bit. Um, Kimberly, the ink. Um, the ink is Tim Holtz, Distress Ink. Um, it is vintage photo. <laughs> Normally we carry it in our shop, but with COVID and different things, we've had a hard time getting it lately. And it's, I think it's that way for everybody that carries it. Like it's, you can't find it in the stores really either. So hopefully we're able to get it back in stock soon because otherwise we're all gonna run out, right? <laughs> I know mine, I have a ink pad at home that's getting kind of dry and I'm like, oh, I need another one, but oh, I can't get one right now. So, but yes, vintage photo Tim Holtz. It's the only ink that we here at Kiwi Lane use because it's just a nice um, color that seems to go with any kind of paper you have. So uh, it's definitely a preference because some people use colored inks and different things. So um, whatever is your preference. Okay, so now our flip flops. Um, Trisha, you've lived here all your life. Yeah, that's kind of the way it is. Like if you live some, like, I don't know, some people move away from home. Um, my husband was from Idaho as well. I mean, not from this area. He was from the Eastern side of the state. Um, you know what, I'm going to cut. I'm going to make my uh, what color should I do the bottom of my flip flops maybe white I forgot I'm going to cut them out of a, a different color so that I can get that edge and then I'm going to trace the inside to make a smaller piece because I think they look really cute when they're um, two tone like that. So that's how you do that. You just trace the outside of your flip flops and then I'll show you how to get that smaller piece. Um, so yes, my husband was from Idaho and you know, I like it here. It's just, sometimes you just wish for an adventure, right? I always, you know, like going on adventures. I call them adventures. <laughs> 
when I was younger. And um, so every once in a while, I just get kind of the itch to just go pick up and start a new life somewhere, right? Seems kind of fun, but I've never done it. So who knows? Maybe I would hate it. Who knows? But you don't know until you try. Um, oh, Grindalia. Yeah, inking is... Yeah, when I was introduced to inking, yeah, now I, I ink everything. My daughter always makes fun of me. She's like, you don't need to ink everything. And I'm like, yeah, you do. Like, it just... In my opinion, it gives a, it's like night and day difference between inking and not inking. But like I said, it is definitely a preference. Some people do not like the look of it or just prefer the non-inked look, but I just think it gives a really finished, uh, complete look. So I ink everything. Susan used to say, well, I think she got it from Tim Holtz that it's not worth doing if it's not worth inking. <laughs> So you can decide if you feel like that's true or not, but I definitely like the look. Okay, so I've got the base of my flip-flops. Now I want a pink top. So in order to do that, I use these little cutouts. So I'm gonna trace, or I'm gonna make a little mark in each of those stitch lines. And then I'm going to cut along those lines. My pencil is dull, but it works. Okay, so see how now it's got that dotted line and that's what I'm gonna use to um, cut along. So I'll do the same one over here. Just make a little mark in each of those stitches. All right. Is anyone creating right now with me? Is anyone making their own project? Okay, so then I will just follow those all of the dotted lines. It's like kindergarten all over again. Cut on the dotted line. And you just follow that around. And when you lay it on top, you're gonna get a nice two-tone look. I'm actually really excited for summer because my middle child, my daughter, is going to be getting her driver's license next week, hopefully, right? She's going to pass the test on the first time. She better anyway, because <laughs> who wants to go to the DMV more than once, right? But she will be able to drive this summer and take herself places, and I am really excited about that. So a little scared at the same time, but excited nonetheless. Okay, so then when you lay that on top, see how cute that is? It gives a fun layered look, which flip-flops all kind of have that, you know, the little edge, the flippy flop edge. So you just sit here those on and then we're gonna do our straps. Oh, Nikki's working with me. Good job, Nikki. What are you working on? Let us all know. And then just to coordinate, well, maybe I will. What color strap should I do? Should I do yellow or white? White like the bottom of my flip-flop or yellow? You guys, let me know, yellow or white. I'll let you decide. There's a delay, so I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Yellow or white? 
Let me know. White. All right, Debbie. I'm gonna go with your opinion because you're the first. Oh, there's two white. So I guess we're gonna go with white. Okay, so you just trace that. Aren't these cutouts awesome? Like our older uh, designer templates, they were just basic, you know, one dimensional shapes, right? But now that we've been exploring with the cutouts, it makes the templates really come to life. Like you can get so much detail and add such um, dimension and texture with the different cutouts that we're able to do. It's really fun. All right, Nikki, did you tell us what you're working on yet? Do tell, do tell. Oh, two other people said yellow, but we're already started on white, so sorry. I'm gonna have to come back and clean that up. I think I told you guys before, my cutting on, on camera is not, not ideal. I had a um, little sharper pencil. I could have gotten closer to the edge and this wouldn't have been so skinny, but my pencil is dull right now. And I kind of lost track of time. Otherwise I would have gone to sharpen it. All right, Nikki is finishing up her granddaughter's first year album, birthday cake layout. Fun, fun, fun. Guys, I still have, I haven't done, hmm, I still have all my kids' baby pictures. Because <laughs> uh, I kind of just started in current. And I feel like if I stop doing current, then I'm going to get really far behind. But I don't know. I've done some past and some current. I'm just all over the place. But I have not done a full album of their baby pictures for any of them so so good job Nikki and you're even doing your grandkids not even your kids so that's awesome well, this is a little tricky piece but is really fun to have okay I'm going to ink this and then we're going to move on to the flower and the free printable part that goes on it. And we will be done. Like, see how fast like this card came together? You just throw your templates on the paper, move them around, figure out a cute design. And voila. And then you got to kind of fold back the adhesive on these skinny pieces. And stick it on. And when I do this, this is how I always, I like to line up. I guess I'm kind of a, cause I don't want it to be like crooked or look weird. So I always lay my template back on my paper and I lay the cutout in it. So it, it, I know it's in the right spot. So I don't know if any of you guys do that, but that's how I always do it. It's just a preference there. And it works beautifully. All right, Grandalia, I'm starting a file folder flip book. Awesome. Did you guys see Sandy Grant's mini album with the placemat? Number four, okay. it was so cute. I'm glad she did that. I wanted to see someone do it. I knew it would be cute. So I'm glad she did. All right, so let's get this one on. <laughs> uh, Nikki, yeah, but granddaughter is almost eight years old. Had a six-year-old sister and my three kids. Well, 
let's just say you have no shortage of pictures, I guess, to scrapbook. You will always be the go-to for getting scrapbooks done, I guess. Um, yeah, that's fun though. Fun, fun. All right, so let's get those on, on our card. I wasn't gonna make anything today. I was just gonna go show you guys the layout I did, but then it has been a long week and I thought, you know what? I am going to take a few minutes with everybody and create something. All right, so since we did get white on the flip-flops, I'm going to do yellow for my flower, okay? So like I said, I'm using Tiny Highlights 5T and I'm just gonna cut this out there. Separate it from my big sheet. <clears throat> you guys should definitely take a look at all the get on the blog and take a look at all the printables. We have so many printables um, over the years that we've done. So if you are needing titles or something for a specific project, definitely take a look because there might be something that is perfect for whatever you're making. Because there is definitely a lot on there. I don't know if they're all up there yet, but they're, we have a lot. So definitely take a look. And then we're really gonna have a lot if we're making these every month, right? <laughs> so, uh, need to order the template. Which template do you need, Vendelia? Tiny highlights? If you don't have tiny highlights, it is a really good one. Tiny highlights, tiny charms, those are really great for just little, adding little, little elements. And they're, they're general enough that they really go with just about any layout. So, oh, got a little ink on my flower. Okay, so there's my flower. So then on this printable, I'm gonna put, oh, not that one, because that one's messed up. Sending you sunshine, because this is a card. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my flower so I can send someone some sunshine and brighten their day. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this one. I put an uh, orange back on, so you can just follow the the outline. The other ones are don't have an outline, so I use the center of the rings one on that. So if you want a circle, a trace line to cut on, you can use that circle. Okay. So then I'm just going to put in some adhesive there. Put it in the middle of my flower and then we're going to and you know what i'm going to grab uh oh uh oh guys i'm out of i'm out of pop up in here so we can't pop up the flower but i was going to pop up the flower with a little foam foam pop up dots but we can't today. So then you just add the little flower on there and look at how cute that is. It's a quick card to send to someone, sending them sunshine. All right. So there you go. So definitely get, click on the link. It'll take you to where you can print off the printable. There's lots of options on there. They work great with this, this month's uh, Kiwi Club templates, whether you are have the full kit, or the template only club. Um, if you have the full kit, there's even more options for you on here to pull from. And if you have the template only club, there's some titles there um, made specifically for you to use on your um, projects. So thanks for joining me today, guys. And definitely um, tune in with Tanya King. Tanya King will be on Monday. 
uh, May 24th, and she will be creating with the new product release. So it will be fun to see what she's been doing with it. And we can all be inspired a little bit by her. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Do something fun. Get out there and enjoy life. And we will see you guys later. Bye.